in this box, I have Hello everyone, excuse how I look and all uh, this kind of stuff, but it's like 9,000 degrees right now and I really don't care about trying to put on makeup or anything and melt, it'll just melt off my face. So I figured I'm doing a, an unboxing and this unboxing is a little different than my usual unboxings, which I do videos of like, you know, tarantulas and inverts and, and um, horror toys and collectibles. This is a cute and fuzzy unboxing and I figured I'd do a little video of it because it's just cute. In this box I have, if you can hear them, can you guess what they are? Oh, did I wake you up? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's hot here, isn't it? Yes, I have chicks. Say hello, chick. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 count them. There's a lot of chicks. There's a bunch of chicks in here. They're, all, they're about a week old. You're probably a rooster. Look at you. Look at this guy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven chicks. There are eleven chicks. These are Dominique chickens. This one's a girl, I believe. That one's a boy. Yeah. They are Dominique chickens, which are America's oldest breed of chicken. They are um, very similar to a barred rock, but they have a little rose comb, which is different than the straight comb on the barred rock. And they're a great multi-purpose, small farm, um, breed. Um, great for eggs, meat. Um, just kind of having as pets because they're very personable and very friendly chickens. But I want to thank um, my friend Mark Dixon who is also a Dominique breeder. So I got some new new genes for my breeding project in here. So I have all these little babies going to grow them up and hopefully have um, some that I can add to my breeding project. So I thought I'd share with you because they're so cute. Who doesn't love little baby chicks? Look at them. Yes. Cute. Okay. I'm going to get these guys all set up in their brooder so they can stay warm. Although it's not that hard today because it is 9,000 degrees. Oh, yeah. So here they are all set up in their brooder. And they're, they're big enough now that this is my baby, baby chick brooder that I usually keep newly hatched ones in for the first week. So these guys are actually almost ready to hop out of here into something bigger. Um, I may set, may actually set something up um, outside with a light for them because they are they do need to stay under light still because they're only a week old. Um, but it is warm enough outside that I can probably set something up in my rabbitry with, with the heat source to keep them comfortable and they should do perfectly fine but for now I'm gonna keep them in here so they can get situated okay so since I showed the chicks and I mentioned um, you know I thought one was a boy and one was a girl um, you're probably wondering how I know that well certain breeds of chicken um, you can actually tell from hatch whether it's male or female as they have certain markings um, and things that kind of distinguish them one from the other. And with Dominiques, and I believe also Bard Rocks and, and some other breeds, um, you can tell by the head spot. So I'll show you the first, first way of telling. Male. This is a male here. In the males, you're going to see a diffused head spot. They all have a head spot here. And in the males, you're going to see that they there's kind of a diffuse coloration going on and uh, it's not a clear spot like in this one grab another male obvious male here this one definitely is a male um they have more of a diffused head spot like so 
in the females, you're going to get more of a very definite head spot. Let's see if I can grab a female here. Now with the females, you're not going to get so much of a diffused head spot. Like this one here, she's got a definite head spot here. Also, let's see, this one. That's usually good at hatch. And, um, you know, they kind of fade out as they get older. There's also another way at hatch that you can tell um, also by looking at their feet. Now, a female is going to have a lot of um, shadowing here on, on the feet, on the legs, like so. And with the male, you're going to have much lighter coloring on the feet. It's going to be more, much more of a yellow. Let's put it side by side here. Now you can see the... Yes, you're okay. The one on the right is a female, and she's got the shadowing on the legs. And the one on the left is a male. He's got much more yellow coloring on the legs. So that's another way to tell when from hatch. Um, once they hit a little bigger, you know, a week or so, and they start really getting their wing feathers, um, like these guys are getting, you can see they're getting their wing feathers, which they usually get first. The females, you'll notice, they'll have darker feathering on their wings, opposed to the males, who have a lot more white, uh, a lot more defined barring on the legs. That's not fool you, little bugger. Um, so you'll see the white, more white on the males and uh, darker wings on the females, like this one here. Another way to tell, there's many ways to tell actually, um, if you open up the wing when they're feathered out, now you can see this one, the wing feathers, you're okay. The wing feathers kind of gradually go into a nice, an, a nice even arc, and they're all a nice even arc pattern. With the males, you're going to see a definite uh, break between the two. You're going to see shorter. These guys are actually a little older, so they're actually growing in a little quicker. Um, if I did this a few days ago, it would be a lot more um, obvious. But the primary feathers will be longer than the secondary feathers, which are these here. So you'll see a definite shorter feathering here as opposed to out here on the end of the wing. And that would be on the males as opposed to the females, which would have, they, they, they kind of grow in an even pattern. And then the last way to tell, well actually there's two more ways to tell. Uh, one is to look at their tail feather growth. And the, generally the females will grow the tail feathers much quicker than the males. Surprisingly, you'd think it'd be the other way around because the males are the ones that have the big fancy tails, but they take longer to grow. And the last way to tell is as they're getting a little older, usually you have to wait a little bit longer for this. Um, but with the males, you're going to see more growth in color in the comb of the males as opposed to the females. So you're going to have much bigger, darker combs coming in on the males. Focus in there. So you can see more of a comb coming in. They're, ro they're uh, rose comb, so you're going to have, they're not going to grow in like you would in a barred rock where you have the, the points in the, on the comb, on a, like a straight comb. These are rose combs, so you're going to have um, much closer to the head, take a little longer to grow. But the males are going to be a little, a little more color in them and a little bit more definition as opposed to the females, which are going to have, see, an obvious little girl here. Which are going to be, they're going to be a little smaller. They're not, they're going to be a little more dainty in the face and the crest and the comb. The comb is going to be a little bit smaller and more dainty and lighter colored than in the males. 
Um, and there actually is one more way as well, um, which kind of ties in with the whole comb thing, is their, their beaks. The uh, females will have more shadowing in the beak, just like their legs. They'll have more dark coloring and shadowing on the beaks. And the males will have more of a, a vibrant yellow beak. So that's another way to tell as well. So this one looks like a male. He's got the light. So it's a male on this one because he's got more definition between the wing. You know, kind of grown to the point where it's not as obvious. But um, and then you got the red coming in on the comb. And you got the nice uh, bright coloring on barring on the wings that is more defined than on a female like this one and you get she's got the shadowing on the legs smaller comb more more color on the beak here this little head spot and then she's got very dark um, much harder to see barring on her wings it's a lot darker Coloring's darker. As they grow as well, you'll see that that the males, uh, the cockerels will will be a much lighter color. On a cockerel, you'll see uh, it looks like the off black is on the off white. And on a pullet, which is a young female, you're going to see it, their coloring almost looks like there's the off white is on a black background. So it's almost like kind of their, the coloring is a negative of each other. You got the males are like black on white and the females are white on black because of their dom the dominant color of their, of their barring um, females darker, males lighter. So, so that's um, a whole bunch of ways that you can tell. It takes some practice. I mean, it's, you know, at first it's, it's not the easiest to figure out who's, who's who, but it's definitely a lot easier to sex these guys right from hatch than it would be a lot of other um, breeds of chicken. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful in trying to figure out who's who and what's what for Dominique Chicks. If you have any questions or comments or anything to add, um, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear, um, you know, about your your birds and and any questions you might have and definitely love to uh talk chicken a little more and and answer questions any questions you might have but and i will give some updates as they grow and how they grow out and everything so stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see more about these guys thanks for watching